Hi, it's Helena. This video is all about character manipulation. We're gonna use characters that are already trained. If you don't know what a character is or how to train a character, make sure to check out my previous video after this one. We're gonna be looking at how to pose your character using the pose editor and how to place your character or even multiple characters in an image. We'll also look at this new toggle, strictly keep key character features. It says when enabled, the model will try to maintain key character features like hairstyle, clothes, turn it off if you want more flexibility. This is a really important toggle to help us up the character game. Let's look at this character, Viper Ning. She's from the game Naraka Blade Point. Her key features are a red blindfold, a really long ponytail, and her kind of default costume is this Chinese style red dress. I like to make the aspect ratio portrait so it's easier to get a full body shot. I'd also recommend turning off auto prompt enhancement because right now we're trying to get a sense of our character model. So this is what she looks like by default. And now let's try to give her a, let's say, a dark dress. Now it seems like AI is trying really hard to still give us some red. Let's try turning off the toggle. The contrast is really sharp. She's now able to wear different things. So here I toggled it on and off a few times and you can really see the difference. And I think we can get her to even wear something that's not a dress. Like a ninja outfit. And now we can even get pants. Again, if we toggle it back on, we won't get that flexibility. So it is really helpful to make use of this toggle. Now let's look at posing her. Let's say we have a high quality character trained and we can generate beautiful images like this with a simple prompt. If you have a more particular vision in your mind, it can get hard to describe it with words. So instead of only describing it like this, we can also use the pose editor to really guide the pose. Let's say we want her walking, but it's more in between a front view and a side profile. We're going to select the athletic model because our character is taller. She's supposed to be a martial artist, so this should be a better ratio on her. And it's easier to select a preset pose to start with. I'm going to start with this one. So when you left click and drag, it rotates the camera angle. And when you also right click and hold both fingers and drag, it moves the camera position. Now just trying to see the dots better, I want to rotate this drawing to make her look more like she's walking. And then to adjust the other leg, we're going to look for the orange dots. I like that one. It looks good enough for now. Let's try to generate some images. We should still try to describe the scene in words as best as we could. I'm not describing too much of the background elements yet because the randomness is really nice. I quite like this one. This is pretty nice too. I like how they added some misty stuff. Might use this image later. But I'm noticing the original dress isn't really showing. Instead, it's becoming tight leggings. And that's sort of a limitation right now because the generated images are really going to try to follow this outline. But I think there's definitely improvements we can do there. Stay tuned for the upcoming upgrades. For now, one thing that could help is to lower the pose weight. If you lower the weight, you allow it to follow the pose outlines less strictly. 0 0.49 seems to be too low. Let's bring it back a little. So now it's starting to work. For this image, we're seeing the original dress much better compared to the leggings in the previous ones. On top of adjusting the pose weight, we can also increase the character weight. Let me just do a little bit more extreme so you see what it does. 
Now it would really try to stick to the character features. Sometimes it even exaggerates things. We got kind of lucky with this one. It's pretty great. And even though the reference post kind of looks like this, our generated image looks much more natural instead of looking like it's trying to fit the post so much it's becoming stiff. This is the reason why we provide different body types of 3D models. The closer your 3D model body type is to your character, the more natural your results are gonna be. But there are only so many options so right now if your character is of a body type that doesn't really fit into any of these i honestly wouldn't recommend using the post editor you probably wouldn't get the best results if you have like a short chubby little like animal like character you could probably try the nendoroid model but the head is extraordinarily big so yeah but this is just the first version of the feature and we're definitely gonna keep making improvements to handle all of those cases I actually was successful using an endoroid for this beaver character. Works well. We can even have him typing. The place your character feature basically allows you to use ink painting with the character model. Let's use one of the given examples. Put it right here and enter a prompt. This feature, in my opinion, still doesn't work all the time. The characters tend to make funny poses, but out of the four images we generated, this one was actually pretty good. I found two tips for using the current version of the feature. Firstly, if you set the character weight to be higher, it usually helps, especially if your impinted area takes up a smaller portion of the image. Secondly, you want to draw this rectangle just like how you want the character to appear. In this case, if we want her standing, we have to draw it vertically. If you do something like this, AI is really gonna try to fill up the entire rectangle and it gets very weird. I put this cute dragon into the background using the method I just showed you, did it by drawing a little box. And then now we're gonna use blend board to add the girl character. So that feature is in very, very early beta. We are working hard to make it better, but for now, I think the better method is to use the blend board. We'll use this as a background image and now we have our character she's in a slightly different costume we'll just drop her into the image the background's removed automatically you can place her here hit blend and now she's blended it looks pretty similar like this but if we zoom in You'll see that the original margins are unnatural. Some parts are even cut off. After blending, the edges became smooth and the parts are fixed. Blending also helps match the lighting and create shadow according to the background image. But the lighting on our character is already pretty good before blending, so it didn't make that much of a difference. This is a quick demo, by the way, showing how well blend board can fix edges of the different elements. Now we can put this into image to video and have the characters start moving and interacting. 